So before this video begins, I just want to mention that only 2% of the people that watch my videos are subscribed. And if you find yourself returning to the channel quite often, I recommend you subscribe because you can get like notifications and stuff. Anyway, let's begin the video. Mortal Kombat is an arcade game released October 8th, 1992. The game was known for its extremely graphic violence and was one of the reasons why the ESRB was conceived. But that's another story. Today we're going to be looking at some shitty Mortal Kombat alternatives. The first game we'll be looking at is Street of Kung Fu Fighter, comical devil combat with fee. Wait, what? Street Combat, a really comical fighting but addictive arcade game. It combined the features of action fighting, stage complete, and role playing game. Together, have this exciting action fighting game. Collect the money and upgrade the skills. Lots of fun and totally free. Features. 12 different roles to choose, great old school art and animations, unique skill and unique rage system, upgrading your skills comes with unbelievable changes, unlimited fighting, STRIVE TO BE THE FIGHT HERO, levels challenge, varieties of combination attacks, totally free! So, are you guys ready to play some King of Combat? Wait. First it was Street of Kung Fu Fighter, then it was Street Combat, and now it's King of Combat? What's with this game and not being able to pick a name? In King of Combat, you have 12 fighters, but you can only play as 6 from the get-go. The fighters are Ryu from Street Fighter, Kill Bill, Raiden from Mortal Kombat, Female Cole, Katana, and that OC you made in third grade. I'm gonna go with Ryu, cause he seems like a pretty balanced character. Wait, who the hell is that? That guy's not even on the character select screen. Wait, remember when the game description said that it had great old school art and animations? By that, I think it just meant lazy. Just look at it. Also, it sounds pretty awkward because there's no music in the background. Just a bunch of men grunting. Luckily for you guys, I'm gonna add my own music on it. The only plus about this game is that the controls are tight, but besides that, the game feels very unresponsive. Especially when you're aiming the controller downwards, even though you do a standing move. Another thing I can't stand in this game is that meter right there. Every time it fills up, it freezes your opponent in one way or another, sometimes by cage and sometimes by trapping you in ice. The reason I don't like it is because if every character has that special ability, then it's not a special move. Instead, it's a minor inconvenience that interrupts the flow of gameplay. So after getting my ass kicked, I tried playing Raiden for a game, and I also got my ass kicked there. So Ian, you might be thinking, wow, the CPUs are really hard. Well, yes, except for when you're playing Kill Bill, because then you could just spam the hell out of the sword. Can we just take a minute to appreciate that beautiful, beautiful flip? It looks like something you'd see in a YouTube video. After this, we fight this Sub-Zero ripoff with a huge sword. The thing about this is, the range on his sword is so good that he could literally infinite you from anywhere. Also, now there's music playing. And for anyone who's wondering if I won the fight, I didn't. Overall, I just can't say I enjoyed this game. The game feels too unresponsive and the CPUs are just too strong. It's pretty bad, and I don't recommend it, especially because Mortal Kombat X is also free, is more fun, and looks better. Get that instead of this. Trust me. The next game we'll be looking at is Clash of the Monsters. Clash of the Monsters brings the most classic and iconic horror film and literature figures together in the traditional 3D fighting game style. The name, quite literally, says it all. Have you ever wondered about what would happen if the living dead faced off with Nosferatu? 
Or what about the Headless Horseman versus the Bride of Dracula? It's time to find out. Take control of your favorite classic horror genre monster or hero and get ready to fight. Clash of the Monsters includes the following characters. Living Dead from the classic Night of the Living Dead, Nosferatu from the classic Nosferatu, the Headless Horseman from the classic short story The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, uh, it, it's, Something Crane from the classic short story The Legend of Sleepy Hollow again, The Bride of Dracula from Bram Stoker's Dracula, The Invisible Man from H.G. Wells' novel The Invisible Man, and Bones, a Clash of the Monsters OC. That OC you made in third grade. So Clash of the Monsters has seven characters, and for some reason I'm gonna list them all again. There's Living Dead from Night of the Living Dead, Bones from the Clash of the Monsters, um, Invisible Man from Invisible Man, Nosferatu, The Headless Horseman, Bride of Dracula, and lastly, that guy. So because I'm a stupid, stupid pants, I decided to pick The Invisible Man. I don't know why I picked The Invisible Man, but the game wasn't joking when they called him The Invisible Man. You literally can't see shit. Oh, and just so you know, Sleepy Hollow's the only map in the game. Those arrows right there don't do anything. You know what, guys? This gameplay is just too exciting. I think, you know, we can't handle it, so uh, we're just gonna skip to the end. So since I got my ass kicked by the living dead, I think I'm gonna play as in this next game. So this game, unlike the other one, actually kind of makes sense with the controls, but I don't know what any of the buttons do, seeing it's just 1, 2, 3, 4. No matter how much I experimented, I just didn't know what to do. But the computer, on the other hand, knew exactly what to do, new special moves, and honestly, I just hate the CPUs in this game. Luckily for me, by round 2 I learned one special move, and I spammed it. That game, I completely destroyed the CPU. On my last game, I decided to play Bones, and I found a really nice exploit that worked way too well. So basically, all I did was just crouch punch, and uh, CPU had no idea what to do. And I find that pretty funny, because Bones is the one Clash of the Monsters original character. So this game's pretty challenging, except when you're playing as Bones. So overall, Clash of the Monsters was a pretty okay game. If you're asking if I recommend it, no. Because Mortal Kombat exists, and there's no reason to play a Mortal Kombat ripoff if Mortal Kombat is on the exact same system. So yeah, I can't say I recommend this one either. The last game we'll be looking at is Real Kabidi Fighting Revoluti. And if you're wondering, the only reason I picked this game is cause it looked bad. Play the real Kabidi simulation game and enhance your Kabidi skills by overthrow all the records. Yeah, fuck the records. Show your Kabidi expertise with powerful and strong body in free 3D game. So get ready and start real superstar raiders match practice with this ultimate world Kabidi champions game freestyle Kabidi game. Lovers will enjoy and s find it more interesting Kabidi 3D game defeat all Kabidi team champion raiders in this world Kabidi competition game and become universal champion of Kabidi Federation. Prove your strength as a real Kabidi athlete. Use the touch controls on the screen and for each gesture have a different upset. Your skills will make you an indefinite champion of this world, Kabidi Battle. Speaking of upset, that's how I'm feeling right now. <sighs> so this is Kabidi Fighter Simulation Game 123, who knows who cares what it is. And I'll be honest, I was right when I said it looked bad. And it looks bad because it is bad. So when the game showed me this pre-fight cutscene, I thought I would be fighting against an enemy team. 
But no, instead it was being boring and making me go one-on-one. -on -one, which is okay, I just think I played a lot of one-on-one -on -one fighters today. But hey, at least this is a 3D fighter instead of a 2D fighter, right? So the gameplay actually controls pretty well. I like how it's not just one, two, three, four, and it's actually like little logos. And also, this game actually feels responsive, unlike the other two games I played today. So level 1 was super easy, all I did was spam the attack button, so I'm hoping that level 2 is a bit harder. Also, I just have to note that 3 of the guys out of 4 right here are all the exact same person. So all I did to win this level was just spam the attack button again, it, um, it really wasn't that hard to, uh, to win. Level 3, please be a little bit harder. So what I did to win this level was spam the attack button again. Okay, this is the last fight. Please, don't just let me spam the hell out of the attack button again. God fucking damn it. So, if you probably couldn't tell, this game is way too easy. That's a new problem, at least, because the other two games were way too hard. But still, I would have liked the difficulty to ramp up. Overall, I actually enjoyed Kabidi Fighter game more than the other two, and that's probably because of how easy it is. It's just easy to breeze through the game. The fact that it's a 3D fighter game could have also helped. Thank you so much for watching this terrible, terrible video. Subscribe if you want, it really helps out the channel. Anyway, I'll see you guys in another video, hopefully not one of these.